We're going to talk about homeschool schedule ideas in today's video, and I've created two free printables for you to help schedule your own homeschool day. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I am a homeschooling mother of four children. I'm so passionate about homeschooling, I love it. It's one of my favorite parts of the day. And on days that we take off and on the weekends, I actually miss it. I know, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> we're in our fourth year of homeschooling and I just, I love it. I can't tell you how much I do. It's a lifestyle and I'm here to encourage you with your homeschooling day. Before we jump into the schedule ideas, today's video is sponsored by Zyro. Zyro is the easiest way to build your own personal or professional website for any occasion, including portfolios, online stores, and more. Don't need to be a designer or a coder to enjoy Zyro. Their drag and drop features allow anyone to build a beautiful website in an instant. It's the most affordable option on the market for you to start building your own website. You can manage multiple marketplaces at once since Zyro is compatible with selling on Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. I have used the Zyro platform and it is so easy to create your own website. They also have a 24 seven customer support team. So I think that Zyro is really relevant because a lot of us are working parents and need our own website, but we're on a budget or your homeschooled children might be starting their own businesses and need their own websites. <laughs> <laughs> that is also highly likely. So I'm going to leave my link and my code down below. The code is daily C. You can save 30%. Again, the code is daily C down below. Okay, let's get started and talk about schedule ideas for your homeschooling day. Now this is going to be different for everybody. Everyone has a different schedule. You might work from home and I know a lot of parents who have to work during the morning hours for whatever reason. Maybe you are communicating uh, with people in different time zones and that turns out to be the morning for you. So whatever I tell you here, you're going to have to adjust to your own unique circumstances. But I'll tell you what our schedule is like. And I've mentioned this before. I've also done some Amazon Lives on homeschooling, which I can leave linked down below. Basically, here's our ideal scheduling day. I will get up at 5 a.m. and I do my own work from five until the children wake up. Sometimes my younger boys will wake up at six. Sometimes they'll sleep till seven. Won't it be amazing when they sleep till eight? <laughs> but right now they wake up pretty early. So I do try to get up quite early at 5 a.m. and I do my own work then. That's when I do writing and editing and all that type of thing that goes along with the job that I have. Once the kids wake up, I feed the little ones and then I start preschool with my son at eight o'clock. So we usually do school together from about eight to nine. I spend that one-on-one -on -one time with him that I think is very important. Uh, during this hour, that doesn't mean we're sitting down at a desk for an hour and working on our writing or, or something like that. No, it's preschool, so it's very interactive. We'll pick different things to do. And it also doesn't mean that he's done by nine. I still work with him throughout the morning and afternoon on different things, but he gets that one-on-one -on -one time where we get to do coloring. I read stories to him. He does work on his writing. He does his little preschool curriculum during that time. And then after that, um, usually the older children have woken up. I set out a little idea of what they can have for breakfast if I'm not making the breakfast myself. But since they wake up later, I basically don't wanna be a short order chef and be in the kitchen all morning long getting orders for people, right? So if we're making waffles, for example, I will leave the waffle iron out and the batter and they can just make their own waffle. Or today we had bagels. So I left the bagels out and the cream cheese and they made their own bagels. So they will make their own breakfast typically and then clean that up and then uh, we will start school. So they know what to do, they know what to do with their morning routine. With the older children, we're pretty much doing school in a very heavy and concentrated manner from the hours of 9 a.m. to 12 noon. And that's what a lot of people who don't homeschool are very shocked by this, and I was too before we started homeschooling. And I thought, do you really end school at noon? I mean, this is just crazy, right? To, to someone coming from public school. So yes, we typically end at noon if we work really hard and they don't take really long breaks in between their subjects. Uh, we all wanna be done by noon, they do too. So we all have a very strong work ethic to get that done. So typically from the hours of 9 a.m. until noon, we will be doing our main subjects. That is math, language arts, history, and science. Um, I will also add special things throughout the week like art study or classical music study um, or things like that. But those are the main subjects that we get in during that time. Then we will have lunch. 
sometimes in the afternoon a subject will creep in. If they have to finish a report or they have to do something a bit extra, that will happen um, occasionally. So that will happen and also we do piano and stuff like that in the afternoon or science projects or you know things of that nature. It's our general schedule. Uh, and then we have, you know, they just have afternoon free time, play time. We don't have homework. Uh, we have dinner time and then all of the things that happen after dinner. Uh, and then we go to bed and then we start again the next day. So that is a general shell of our schedule. Some people find it very helpful to write their schedule down. And so knowing that I've created two free templates for you. You could choose which one you like or you could download both of them, whatever works for you. But I'll show you them right now. This first one right here is a homeschool schedule. And uh, you're supposed to write the date in the upper left hand corner. And there's just a little checklist that could be for anything that could be for groceries or to do items or things that you want the children to complete or chores. It's up to you. It's just customizable. Then I have morning session, lunch, afternoon session, dinner, tomorrow and notes. Uh, down below and I thought that this would be very helpful for people so I don't have actual hours because you know whenever you write hours like history from 10 to 1045 you know that it just never fits in that time slot that's not really how life works for us anyway so I have morning session and you could put everything you want to accomplish maybe you could print out one of these per child it's up to you you can laminate it write on it whatever you want to do uh, it's down below then you can just write what you're having for lunch and dinner how you want to prepare for tomorrow and some notes. So that is the first free printable that I've created for you. And the second free printable is slightly uh, different in its format. It just says homeschool schedule Monday through Friday. And then I have early morning, late morning, lunch, early afternoon, late afternoon, dinner, and then tomorrow. So you could just write in there times if you want or just any kind of notes, whatever you want to do. I made them very vague so that you can customize it to your schedule. It could be that you have teenagers and you don't start till late morning because you get all of your work done early morning. So you could write your own schedule in there too. But I just thought that these printables would be helpful for you. They are absolutely free. You can get them on my blog and I will leave my blog down below. Just click on the link and you'll be able to download the files. So I told you my homeschooling schedule as a teacher. Let's talk about our homeschooling schedules as parents because I believe that this is very important as well. And sometimes when you transition to homeschooling, you blur those lines between homeschooling teacher and homeschooling parent. But it is important that you get your own things done and you have to, otherwise you start to feel antsy or anxious or bitter and uh, you can't wait for the homeschool day to be over so you could do your things. So I highly recommend that you wake up early, as early as you can before your family. And like I said, if your children sleep in late, that gives you so many hours to get your stuff done. So it's going to look different for everybody. We have moms and dads doing homeschooling right now, uh, but I'll tell you from the perspective of a mother, potential things that you could do, scheduling ideas. So you could wake up really early, uh, 5 a.m. is a great time or some I know friends that wake up at 430 even and I've done that myself In fact this weekend I had to be really productive on Saturday and I woke up at 4 It wasn't a homeschool day, but I had a lot to do <laughs> So Sometimes that's just what needs to be done so you could wake up and everybody does different things if you work you could do your work during that time um, if you exercise, you could do your exercise during that time. If you want to tackle a cleaning or a decluttering project without being interrupted by the children, you could do it during that time. You could probably fit a lot of those in if you wake up really early and your children sleep late. One thing that I highly encourage you to do every day is to get dressed and get ready for the day. So get dressed in real clothes. Don't stay in your pajamas. If you want to do your makeup, and your hair or some light routine where you can get ready for the day, I highly encourage that you do. Make sure that your homeschool room is as organized as it can possibly be. We struggle with this because we will do this, but then in the afternoon when the kids have free time, they'll go in there and do crafts and then somebody, I don't know, the ball got dropped and we didn't clean it up. So <laughs> then we're cleaning it up the next day. So just make sure that that is ready. I'm not saying do it yourself, but I'm saying that make sure in your plans from the prior evening that it was taken care of. So in the um, homeschool templates that I gave you, in the tomorrow section, you could put uh, get the room ready for tomorrow or something like that. 
So you're going to focus on how you can fill your own cup in the morning, do your devotions, do your exercise, work on your projects, get yourself ready for the day, and also think about lunch and dinner. So you don't want to be doing homeschool and then suddenly it's lunch, you don't know what to do, so you're scrambling, and then everybody has a peanut butter jelly sandwich, and then you, you do homeschool and then you get into your projects and, and then dinner comes and you don't know what to do for dinner, so you order or you go to the drive-thru. We don't wanna do that, we wanna be prepared. So you can start a um, slow cooker meal or just figure out what you're making and when you're going to prepare that and everything. So I hope that these schedules are very helpful for you. Um, I know that I personally do like to write things down or at least have a general time block in my head for what we do. Let me segue here by saying if you have a morning where things are off and you can't do your schedule first, right, uh, the way you want to, let's say you have a work call or somebody's sick or you have to deal with something and you're not ready to start school, a great idea is to put on an educational documentary uh, or something of that sort on the television. Don't let them watch cartoons. <laughs> Let's keep it educational. So two really great um, homeschooling channels, and of course there are many. I'm just highlighting two right now that we like to use on a regular basis. The first one is Mr. DeMeo, and he is a teacher and he's a YouTuber, and his channel is hilarious. He is so funny, and he really makes uh, learning come alive in a funny and humorous way that really sticks with the kids. So we've seen every single one of his videos and I can't recommend him enough. I will leave his channel link down below. Another great channel is Homeschool Pop and um, they're just really good. They have very short uh, science videos, just homeschool videos pertaining to certain grades and I really like their content as well. So these are two really good resources for you to have. Another thing we do is um, we'll do art school on YouTube. So all of the kids will get paper and their crayons or colored pencils out and I will put on this channel, it's called Patty Fernandez Artist, I believe. I'll leave her down below. But Patty Fernandez is an art teacher and she does very simple to do drawings to help kids learn how to draw and do art and things like that. And she is wonderful, so that's another free resource that you can do. So if you're having one of those mornings, let's say, I don't know, some emergency happened with an appliance or <laughs> you just have a work call or something, you can still have them start school and you can do this and it's absolutely free and they love it. So those are three really good resources. So those are some ideas uh, for you and I hope that they were very helpful. And that is it, that is our homeschool schedule. Now the thing to remember about homeschool is that it is not like a traditional public or private school. It's going to be a lot concentrated. That one-on-one -on -one learning is going to eliminate a lot of time that you would spend in public or private school. So yes, it is more concentrated and yes, you will end a lot sooner. And no, you don't need homework. <laughs> Unless you wanna give it, you don't need to have it. The homeschool life is extremely free and liberating and the, I find personally that the children absolutely love to learn. And I just like it this way, it works really well for our family. I also wanna say on a closing note that due to everything that's going on right now where most people are actually forced to do school at home, that if you are doing a distance learning program where your children are online with their school, that is not the same thing as homeschooling. And I just wanna say that just in case you are frustrated with that process. I personally have a lot of friends who are doing that process right now and are very frustrated with it. And I try to tell all of them that's not what homeschooling is uh, because they say, I can't believe you do this. And I'm, I'm thinking we don't, we don't do that. <laughs> but I wanna give you encouragement if you are going through that and you are struggling to make a schedule, go ahead and download my free printables and make it work for your schedule, whatever it is. Thank you once again to Zyro for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my link and my code for 30% off of their paid plans to build your own website. Thanks so much everyone and I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye!